it's possible for us to toy day in and day out get so many things and just when you are about to enjoy it you now die how many of our parents labor every day just when they are beginning to enjoy it they now but when he was strong his heart was lifted up to his destruction for he transgressed against the lord his god and went into the temple to burn incense upon the altar of incense and Isaiah, okay and azariah the priest went in after him and with him four score priests of the lord eighty priests with heard him and these priests were valiant men and they withstood Uzziah, the king, and said unto him, It is pertaining not unto thee, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord, but to the priests, the sons of Aaron, that are concentrated to burn incense. Go out of the sanctuary, for thou art just passed. Neither shall it be to thy horn unto the Lord. Then Uzziah was wrought, and had a censer in his hand to burn incense. And while he was wrought with his priest, the leprosy even rose up in his forehead. And upon his forehead before the priest in the house of the Lord from beside the incense altar. And Azariah, the chief priest, chief of all the priests, looked upon him and behold, he was leprosy in his forehead. And they thrust him out from the temple. Even though the Lord will smite him. Imagine the story of a king you are not qualified, you are nothing. God look upon you and God marvelously helped you. But immediately when God helped you, now you are strong. Your problem began the day you were strong. It then means in the days of strength, we must be more careful than in the days of weakness. I know they tell you to be careful when you are weak. <clears throat> if you have the power to kill all of us here, we should be more afraid of you. Because a man with power to do anything, may hardly be restrained. If any of you can turn us to chicken, maybe you look at me and say, Apostle Philip is talking too much. You do like this. I will not turn to chicken. Say, we are out of this place. Because it's possible that just because you have power, you feel you can do anything you want to do with it. That was the challenge. He didn't know that it was God that lifted him and he neglected the stone of help. When he neglected the stone of help, he went after it. He doesn't know that the stone is too strong to break it. Eighty priests say, no, it's not your job, O king. He still refused. He went. Let Pussy hit him. In the Old Testament, most of the punishment that God gives people are three leprosy which is of course poverty barrenness and I think sickness and disease something like that most of this sickness leprosy and the rest we are real punishment from God and as his life ended another person will begin Isaiah go with me to the book of Isaiah 6 in Isaiah 6 from one, in the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. That means Isaiah the prophet was together with those 80 priests that were with them. I'm telling Uzziah, please don't try this. And immediately God killed Uzziah. God beckoned upon Isaiah. In the midst, when God rejects someone, he picks up another. And he said, to, Above each two the seraphims, each at his wings. With two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, with two they did fly. Yes? And one cried unto one, saying, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, 
For I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Of course, then flew one of the seraphims. They have to now help him. Now, Isaiah needs to receive Ebenezer. If not, him too will be killed as Uzziah was killed. Because what Isaiah was describing here was what happened that killed Uzziah. Because in that year that King Uzziah was to die, we all were part of the priest and we were in the temple. He came and transgressed. When he transgressed, God came to kill him. What happened was that the cloud of God covered everywhere. There was smoke. Seraphims were around. The Lord of hosts came himself. And when the Lord of hosts came, he behold upon Uzziah, I have made thee so. Thou art the anointed cherub. I have said thee so. If I have said thee so, I can bring you down from where I said thee. God took him up. He refused to understand the stone to remain. And that God brought him down. And immediately Isaiah saw what happened. When the seraphim began to cry, holy, holy, he knelt down upon them suddenly that in the presence of God, in the holies of holies, no one is permitted to make mistake. Mistake comes with judgment instantly. There are some mistakes you can do. There is a privilege for forgiveness in the outer court. In the holies of holies, there is no place for that. That's why there are certain mistakes that people make and the ointment go and it looks as though they are. God has never taught their life before. Because now you have partaken. You have seen deeper matters. It's not expected of you, O King Uzziah. You knew the stone of help. What happened to you? How comes your heart was lifted up to vanity? Because of that, you'll be brought down to your destruction. Now you want to rise like one of them, Lucifer. The same pattern. Put upon the coast of fire for purification. Iniquity was found in thee. And you must be casted out from the very presence of God. So that you don't corrupt other beings. So you must be isolated and quarantined. Your kind is another species designed for eternal damnation. Because in this court, it's only loyalty and allegiance that we understand. And immediately Isaiah realized that, ah, in the court of holiness, everything impure is about to die. And so before the seraphims advance to now strike Isaiah, he has to confess his sin first. Because he now suddenly realized that the judgment of God that came through the seraphims actually was terrible. And he has to beckon. Suddenly, he cried. And he began to pray and begin to ask God for help. Woe unto me! I'm a dog. I'm a man. But I thought you were a major prophet, Isaiah. He now realized that he was a prophet suddenly. He was a liar. Although he had the title of a prophet. He had been prophesying from chapter 1. When we enter chapter 6, when judgment came upon the king, he visited his corridor. He may be a minister. <laughs> but you know deep within you that if the God you are praying for holiness come, if the God that is all powerful, the God that is all righteous, all holy, when he come and appear before you, you are doomed. Because God can't behold this kind. You can't dine with him. Because when he appeared, the glory of God and his holiness will kill you by default. See, even if you escape eh, and enter heaven, just try to escape and enter by the back door. By default, the atmosphere there will push you out. Because holiness, the glory of God, it, you cannot contain this thing when you are laden with so much infirmity. It's a lie. That's why it's meant for only overcomers. So even if you appear there, by default, you'll be rejected. God put that system in place to checkmate. That paraventure, if infirmity, iniquity is found in men, they push them out of the outer court, out of the inner court, out of the holies of holies, and they cast them away. So it's not as though you cannot survive, but you can survive in the holies of holies. Isaiah was surviving but when he entered where it matters as the king advanced and entered where he was not supposed to enter that 
us wear only them when they're once in a year. The king wake up one day and say, me, I want to go today. Are you okay? In fact, before they go, they concentrate themselves and they tie hope. But eventually you enter, you die. Nobody will go in, they will pull you. He made those guys break the law of God. All of them ran inside trying to hold him. So they left him when he was approaching the holy. They left the wrong man. At that very place, Isaiah now saw a glory that cannot behold iniquity. And he realized that I am about to die from what I saw. My eyes have seen the Lord of God. What have you been seeing before? How did he become a prophet without seeing the Lord? And I wonder why Aaron do not know God. God has never appeared to Aaron. Study scripture and see. The only time God appeared was when you want to kill him. Everything Aaron did, plus the cloth is where it was when Moses told him. And how comes a lineage of priesthood is in line with him? <laughs> so in the day the Lord appeared, they now realize that Kai, my dwelling place is iniquity. And everybody around me are the same. Father, show us mercy. So the seraphims, the same glory that can make alive can kill. But the same glory that can kill can make alive. As he beckon, they begin to take coals to begin to purge and purify him. And now he can be able to stand. From that very moment, he began to speak deeper matters. That was when he began to speak to kings, to nations, and begin to speak about the coming of the Messiah. 